How was that atmosphere? Great. Um, it was it was nice. As I expected, obviously, it's uh, playing against the the homeboy. I think it's always uh, it's always that way. I think I think everything was uh, was great. Great atmosphere tonight. Um, it was also nice to play in such good conditions. The, the court played nice. There was no wind. It was not hot. It was not cold. So it was just a a great match for tennis tonight. What did you learn about yourself tonight? About myself. Um, it's a fair question. I mean, I learned that I can, I can, you know, that I can switch another gear when I really needed it. And I think this is something that I've been struggling. Obviously, this this tournament, the first couple of rounds, or even the three first rounds, I was not striking the ball well and all that. But I was still clutch on the important moments, which was good. But today I was able to just overtake my game completely differently having a high percentage on the first serve having a high percentage on the return um being able to play my game a little bit more counting a bit more on my on my web on my strongest weapons and and yeah i think that was that was a good uh, good step forward for me how, how do you um sorry how, how do you assess your next opponent grigor i mean He's got that far, so for sure, and I need to be ready. It's simple as that. I, there's no, there's no place for underestimation or anything like that. You just, you just gotta go out there and play and play your tennis. And as I said, I've, the only thing I've been focusing since day one um, out here on on the court is really looking after my side of the game and my side of the net. This is, this is what I want. To, to kind of I want to progress I want to be better um, and it doesn't matter who I play I just I just want to I just want to do better so each match I want to I want to get into a, a, a different different rhythm and eventually with as I said finding that extra gear every match can can really help me it was quite a long sorry next question okay uh, sorry there was quite a long embrace between you and Nick at the end tonight mm -hmm. what did you guys say to each other I think we we're we're great uh with each other I think on and off the course we I think we I think we have a lot of respect for one another we you know chat with each other in, in the locker room and all that it's just uh I mean I think obviously I've seen a lot of positivity from him the past the past week so weeks I would say so I just just obviously wish him a good luck and just to keep on going that way I think it's I think it's important and and again we all play this game to to have fun, to enjoy it. I know it's a big battle out there, but I mean, you know, we're humans above all, and this is, I, I mean, yes, we compete there, but you gotta be a, a human above all. Can you shed any light on what he said? Because he was picked up on television just saying believe, that's the only word we, we heard. Why didn't you ask him? Well, we did, yeah. And what, what was his answer? He said similar. He says that uh, he has faith in you and thinks that you can win a Grand Slam. So. Yeah, it was, you know, I think I always wanted to, in a way, say what we say to each other, but I think there's, there's no need for this. I think it's 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 way better to be personal. I just just obviously wished him a good luck and, and kept believing in himself and playing. Um, yeah, the rest is, I think, between us. Just talk a little bit more about uh, Nick. You know, obviously, it's just not that he doesn't have a coach, but he does things his own way on the court or off the court, sometimes inspiring, sometimes frustrating. What 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 do the the game the, the locker room the people in the game think think of Nick and what do you think? Of him? I to be honest, I don't spend that much in the locker room to know what everybody's thinking about him. I we see how you know fire he can be on the court and play an unbelievable tennis. So he's extremely extremely talented, if not the most talented player out there. Um, has great web like develop well developed weapon as a serve. Um, I think he overall has done better over and over um, the past, I think the past months, and he's he's starting to find his way um, around the courts, around uh, around the match and everything. So I think I think he's just he's just improving really. And again, he's a great guy. I, and in a way, I that's why we play the game. I mean, I I love competing against him. I mean, I know it's frustrating at times, very frustrating, but. In the same time, it's 
you know, it's for the love of the game, and I love the game. So that's why I think tonight was such a such a good match on both ends because that was a Grand Slam match. Um, he's a, a great guy. Is he just had a, a really positive spirit? Is he just there for you? I mean, from what I've seen, yeah, I think he's is 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 good. Honestly, I don't know <laughs> where he feels deep inside. I know, I am. I'm sure we all have. You know, we all have to fight our fight our demons, I guess, and we all have some. And it's 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 matter to like harness them and and really let out those good spirits, especially when you come out to compete or practice. Um, yeah, after that, really, how everything else would unfold, we, we can't really tell. Is it always difficult to compare two different matches and two different opponents? But the match you played versus Nadal uh, last year and the match of tonight, uh, do you see any sort of uh, uh, similarity in terms of the way you played? I mean, the, the atmosphere there was? Uh, that yeah, I mean, you you're entering into a stage of, of a tournament where all these matches matter a lot more to all of us. Um, yeah, into that second week is, is always, I mean, it's always a privilege to play out on that court, out in front of all the fans. And again, I obviously I knew they were, they were on his side. It's simple as that. But uh, um, it's 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 what it is. It's part of the game. All the, all this, I think, all these moments are are just part of the game. And it's really matter how you're gonna find the solution to play. It's you play better than the steers. Yeah. It's, it's it's so hard to say to be honest it's really really so hard to say I mean uh, it's a completely different player completely different rallies um, court positioning I mean I can just sit here and talk to you about that the whole night but that's uh, the, I mean every every match by itself is so different um, you can maybe the stats will be the same or the, the sets might be the same and everything but in the end of the day it's a completely different match it's one year later so um but yeah again i'm i'm just just pleased with 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 the current situation and the way i was able to like step up on 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 the yeah the moments that i really needed how do you manage here uh, uh awesome. a couple just a couple things how were you able to hit that high level after having some struggles in the first few rounds what did it take to get there because you were pretty high level from the start and then at the end of the match uh, i'll ask you after but yeah um i I don't know. I think there, there's, especially when you have like a long tournament, like long tournament, it's it's important to, after certain rounds, to kind of reassess your game a little bit. You reassess your behavior, um, and kind of find a way to 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 do something better, to change something in order for you to to be better. Simple as that. And and I just thought myself. Okay, you've you've gone that far. Now it's now it's the part that you kind of need to start enjoying a little bit more and live in the moment. I mean, you never know how many times you're gonna be able to come out on Rod Laver Arena and just just play. So that itself gives me the motivation and and that kind of kick and be like, hey man, like you're here now, just just play. I mean, I've won quite a few matches in in the past years and I have a lot of respect coming out to play on on the big stage. Um, I mean, I respect my my team. I respect the people that are watching. I think that that is that is a a great part of the game that I I I just love. And again, when you come to those to those matches, I just want to stay in that moment and just fight and do whatever it takes in order for me to win. And when you put all that together, just things starting to flow. And I think that's a that's one way of seeing things. Five three. He has a crazy overhead that he misses. Yeah. You're serving for the match. It doesn't work out. How deflating was that? How worried were you? And what did it take to come back and win? To be honest, when I when I got broken, I, I mean, after it was after, after a 15 love point, I played a poor point. I mean, I took a bad decision to play that slice down the line. So it was my mistake, my fault. Simple as that. <laughs> and. I just had to suck it up and go on the other side and be like, hey man, like, <laughs> come on, let's let's try another <laughs> another one. And of course, I would I would have loved to finish uh, without playing another tiebreak, but again, um, I didn't let myself down for a second. And the fate was really one of my obviously my biggest friend, but 
the fight that I had to hit the shots and take the right decision at the right time, um, especially the, the point at the 4-3 on my serve, um, hitting that inside and over the net, um, another big point after another first serve. So all these things, like, they mean so much to me. And when I'm able to do it, like, gives me it gives me wings, it gives me, like, hope, it gives me something else to work for and, and another goal as well. And I think that's that's the best that's the best part. Now we can hopefully can get only better. Last two questions for you, Andre. Um, deep in the tournament, you used to play fellow experienced players, but today Nick and the next match Kaya. Now you're playing against these upcoming, um, rather young players. So when you're facing those young players, do you have a different set of mind when you're playing them? And is there other young players that you're paying attention to these days? Yeah, I'm watching a lot of tennis, watching a lot, watching a lot of matches, watching even juniors sometimes. So yeah, you need you need to be aware of what's coming, what's coming at you. It's gonna, of course, there's gonna be another wave of like young players coming over. I don't even consider anymore Nick and all these guys like the young, young. I mean, overall we're pretty much the same age, and that. But that doesn't really matter. Some, as I said, some people mature early. Some people develop their game early there's or develop physically early so there's just so many different components that are playing out there so um i just look at it as as another match as i said before this is this is the main thing for me is to really focus on on myself and whoever i play it's it's for me is to win the match it's simple Last question. nick hits so many shots from so many parts of the courts how do you manage your tactics and emotions while that's going on. <laughs> it's uh, sometimes it's so unpredictable. You you just you go along with it, and sometimes actually I was smiling because it's great. I mean, I and sometimes I know where he's gonna play and all that, and he manages to catch us a line or to serve totally the opposite where I thought he would. So I mean, he gets frustrated at times for sure, but you kind of need to like stick to your game plan and also to basically what you believe in your game as well it's simple as that like what it was the point to like start playing his game i mean it's it's always you always need to to win with your game and i've always been a strong believer of that you got to go get it and count on your shots count on on the biggest weapons and yeah how things going to go in the end